Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated free to play player who played this game for one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today I'm going to speak all about free to play guide, free to play players who are asking a lot of questions in uh, Tamari's chat or maybe in my videos comments. Uh, I'm gonna cover every single detail about the game which uh, if you will follow uh, from my own experience you are going to enjoy the game more and more uh, if you are a free to play player like me. Uh, as you already know, I have not spent a single dollar in this game. I don't even have Lily. I don't. I have not bought any single bundles. I'm trying to make a content and trying to enjoy the game such as it is in an organic way. Of course, there's like couple of tips which I can give it to you in order to make your gameplay much more easier and much more fun uh, for effort to play players. Let's start with like uh, these tips. Number one tip, in my opinion, like whenever you are starting the game, you have already a choice, right? In this game, this game is all about choices and making the correct choice in your current situation is the most important. First of all, there is three factions in this game, which is Wilderburg, League of Orders and Spring Wardens. Uh, in Call of Dragons, we have a, like special units in this game. Uh, every single faction has one special unit, uh, which gonna determine what faction is good for you. For example, I understand Spring Wardens and the Gwenwin main hero looks like this uh, faction is for marksmen, for archers, but it it would be a mistake. Like this is the first mistake I made in this game uh, when I chose Spring Wardens in a hope that I would be playing for marksmen. Unfortunately, uh, Spring Wardens are for the Cavalry players uh, simply because their special unit, uh, Forest Eagle, is Cavalry unit and uh, in general whenever you are trying to choose your main uh, Legion type, uh, you preferably want to have uh, many Legions in a Legion in one single Legion type so you will be using them together, right? Uh, so if you are a Cavalry player, if you want to play uh, Cavs with high mobility, with Forest Eagles, uh, that's the faction you are going to play with. Uh, for the free-to-play players, I would not recommend to play as a Cavalry, they are great, uh, especially whenever they are tier 5 units in these legions. Uh, and for the free-to-play players, uh, I don't think that one year is enough to uh, like get tier 5 units, you need to grind even more. The next faction, which is uh, League of Order, is much, much better for the free-to-play players, uh, simply because uh, League of Order is a mage faction, and in general, it is widely said that mages are one of the most free-to-play friendly uh, legion type in the game. So, even the starting hero, Waldir, is one of the best, if not the best, epic hero in the game. So, you have already two most important benefits. You will have highest range uh, currently in the game by playing the League of Order with Celestials and Vestals. And also, you are, have, you are having a best epic hero currently in the game, Waldir, with an amazing uh, talents, magic, PvP and skill. So, League of Order... The best choice for a free to play player. The third faction, which is Wilderberg, the special unit is the Wyverns, Wyvern Riders, which are marksmen. Uh, if we are talking about tiers, League of Order will be number one tier for a free to play player. Uh, Wilderberg would be number two tier, especially if you are playing as a, a marksman, such as me, I'm marksman main. And simply, I, I love to use another units which are marksmen uh, like Wyvern Riders. The starting hero does not give you the marksman wipes, of course. It's an infantry garrison skill, a talent tree Bahar. Uh, I don't rate Bahar at all, unfortunately. I don't think that you are going to have a lot of use uh, with this hero, but still. Uh, Wilderberg, I think, is a number two option for a free to play player. Uh, I have already mentioned um, regarding like um, legion type why uh, the factions and legion types are connected. That's a second tip, in my opinion. Uh, one of the most important decisions you need to make in this game as a free to play player is to decide what would be your main uh, legion type in the game. You have 
couple of options, right? First is uh, cavalry, cavalry melee. They generally have the high march speed. Uh, they generally have a, a high physical attack, but they don't have enough defenses to stay alive. In my opinion, playing as a cavalry, uh, as a tier 4 free-to-play player, would be a mistake. You won't gonna have much of an impact uh, during the battlefield. Of course, you will run forts faster, uh, you will generally move around the battlefield faster, but what it matters is to deal damage, is to attack enemies and get a merits, right? Uh, that's why, in my opinion, uh, cavalry legion type as a main is not a good idea for a tier 4 player. If you are a tier 5 player, of course, great choice, but in this video we are mainly speaking about free-to-play players who are tier 4. The second legion type is marksman, and marksman is my main legion type currently. Uh, like, that's a decision I made whenever I started the game, I wanted to be marksman player. Uh, and if you are a free-to-play player, I would recommend to play. Recommend you to play as a marksman because you will have a lot of fun, uh, especially after the introduction of long-range warfare. Marksmen can have same range as the magic units. So magic and uh, mages and marksmen are, in my opinion, main free-to-play mains in this game. Uh, yep, marksmen. Great free-to-play legion type, which if you like the gameplay of the marksmen, you are going to have a lot of fun. The third, uh, one of the most free-to-play friendly legion type in the game uh, is uh, magic, magic units. Um, they generally have the highest range and they don't have enough physical defenses. Uh, that's why they are kind of squishy, they are all about dealing damage from the range. So, number one choice for effort to play players, and second number, second uh, choice would be the marksman, which I already said. The infantry, again, uh, if you are free to play player and you are tier 4 player, I wouldn't recommend you to main, uh, like, infantry. Uh, in general, I think infantry and cavalry are best whenever they are tier 5 units inside the Legion, uh, and the marksman and the... Uh, the mages are one of the most free-to-play friendly. In general, why it matters uh, to choose the main legion type in this game is really, really obvious. Uh, you have a limited amount of legendary tokens in this game, and you have limited amount of resources, limited amount of speed-ups you are having, so you always have to make a decision. If you are going to research every single skill of every single unit type you are going to waste your resources you are going to waste your speed ups if you are going to use the legendary tokens on every single legendary hero it's gonna mean that you won't gonna have at least one legendary hero awakened uh, by the time every single pay to win player or the player who decided their mains have at least one, right? It's a big and the biggest disadvantage. That's the biggest mistakes, mistake players are making currently. They are spreading their legendary tokens to every single legion in this game, in every single hero in this game, uh, depending on their mood. And of course, your heroes won't gonna matter if they have a low levels, right? And I'm, I'm not gonna speak too deeply about heroes. First kill is always the number one priority. Try to make the first kill five level and then try to unlock the other skills. That's why, like, limited amount of resources, limited amount of speed ups, limited amount of legendary tokens, uh, and also even medals, which you're gonna need to unlock the skills, uh, like uh, legendary medals, are limited for a free to play player. That's why, from the first day, you have to make a decision, are you a marksman player, are you a mage player, are you a cavalry player, or are you infantry player. My advice is pretty simple, you have uh, two choices for as a free-to-play player, you either are playing as a marksman, or you are playing as a mage. Uh, faster you're gonna make this decision, better it will be for you. Uh, and of course, artifacts, same, if you're gonna make, if you're gonna uh, upgrade every single artifact in this game, you simply won't gonna have enough resources to do that. So, main and most important advice, get one main legion type. 
try to be marksman or try to be mage. If you like still don't want to agree with me and you want to play as a cavalry, like the most important thing is here to decide which one is your main, right? If you are playing as a cavalry, which I don't advise, try to use uh, your legendary tokens on cavalry heroes, right? Simply because you are going to have more troops uh, as a cavalry troops, like throughout the game, uh, and your legendary heroes in cavalry section should have a higher skills uh, to do anything into the battlefield, right? Because as a free-to-play player, you are going to be a grinding 24-7 in order to have fun in this game. And uh, grinding does not mean less fun, in my opinion. Like, I'm grinding for one year. Exactly, I'm playing this game for 365 days. And I'm having a lot of fun, right? Also, third tip. Gems in this game are one of the most valuable currencies in the game. Uh, why? Like the second tip and the third tip is connected simply because whenever you chose your main legion type, your main heroes, which you're gonna play with, every single season we are getting uh, two new uh, heroes for every single legion type. The gems are used to get those heroes, gems are used to get new artifacts, gems are used to uh, upgrade your VIP shop, right? So, again, a lot of decisions in, uh, in the aspect of gems you have to make as a free-to-play player. My advice would be, of course, get second the construction queue, uh, get at least uh, level Eight in order to unlock the second research queue because this is going to help you a lot, right? Uh, you're gonna research two skills at the same time, you are going to build two buildings at the same time, and it, it, it's simply giving you like too much extra time to progress in this game. Let's say you already have two construction builders, you have two research queues, and uh, your VIP shop is looking pretty fine, right? What's the other ways of uh, spending those gems? Uh, there is only two ways. Uh, if you are marksman main and you, you, are, you know that you are going to get two legendary marksman heroes, you are 100% going to use those gems for your main heroes. If, for example, I like my marksman main and I know that next two heroes will be infantry, generally I will not be spending any gems on those heroes. It's much, much better to save those gems if your main uh, legion type heroes are not coming out uh, at the time whenever there is a season reset, right? In my opinion, if there is no new heroes for your main legion type, save those gems and every single season reset we are having an amazing rewards in this game right like if you are if you have played at least one or couple of seasons in this game you understand that best rewards you can get uh, in this game by spending some gems is whenever there is a new season starting of course you have you're gonna be able to get the uh, best artifacts possible in the season ending rewards by spending those gems so it's really really important for you to understand that whenever you are spending gems you need to look at the value you need to look at the chances and in my opinion this compendium uh, rewards uh, whenever there is a reset is the best way for free to play players to spend those gems in this game uh, of course, I'm not sure about any other Kingdom Builder games, but in this game we are able to farm those these gems uh, without spending any money, but there is a cap. Uh, you can farm 1000 gems per week, and if you're gonna think about it like correctly, uh, for a one whole season you are going to have a pretty good amount of gems if you are going to uh, farm them every single week 1000 gems, right? Uh, that's why like even the most valuable currency in the game can be farmed by the free to play player and in general whenever in the game where there is a chance to pay money and be stronger uh, i have not seen a much uh, of uh, like most important currency getting farmed in a different games right that's why i i have i have said it many many times i'm having a way way more fun in the call of dragons than any other kingdom builder games uh, 
this this is like one of the most important uh, advice which I can give you regarding gems uh, and of course like if you want to like understand why this game is getting popular day by day you need to understand what makes it difference right between other kingdom builder games for example hospital understand that this is pretty unique that we are able to uh, heal our troops for free and here comes my fourth tip uh, for every to play players try to utilize your hospital this is the one of the most important ways of having fun to understand how hospital works currently there is couple of ways how you can make your uh, healing much better to make more elixirs or daily elixirs or increase the limit capacity of the elixir in the game such as villages for example currently i'm having 21000 elixir capacity bonus by simply uh, getting the villages and 6500 elixir production uh, like simply by just capturing the villages right also um, mana stone of relief is giving me 10 percent more elixir production speed which hit like uh, almost half million uh, elixir production per 24 hours why this is important right uh, of course whenever you are fighting against pay to win players you are having a lot of troops um, inside your hospital and if you don't understand uh, how this game works it will be really really rough and frustrating for you to fight in this game and in general in my opinion this game has the best fighting gameplay combat gameplay i have ever seen in any kingdom builder game right if you won't gonna utilize your hospital generally you are not going to get any merits in this game you are not going to have any fun because every time you are going to fight against uh, tier 5 or tier 4 you're gonna have a huge amount of uh, troops inside your hospital and sometimes whenever free to play players are using resource healing I'm really mad, simply because as a free-to-play player, you have limited amount of resources, which you preferably want to spend on many other things, such as research, construction, and trust me, later you are going to the game, uh, the more and more resources you need to continue progression. That's why I highly recommend to almost never use the resource healing, uh, simply you have elixir healing you have villages you have moonstone mana stone so like try to avoid resource healing at any cost if there is not like any urgent situation uh, regarding uh, fights or roots of war or like maybe you are missing a couple of thousand troops for your behemoth fight right so try to understand the hospital mechanic which gonna give you a lot more flexibility during the fights and it will be helping you to prolong your uh, troops so you will be able to get way more merits in this game uh, we i already spoke about one of the most important tips for the free to play players in this game uh, and now it's time to speak about like construction and research right let's say first construction now of course for any player in this game the main aim should be to get uh, like uh, the town hall level 24 why 24 right in order to increase level 25 on any other uh, building in this game uh, you need to spend 2000 gems in my opinion uh, free to play player should not really rush uh, to increase the construction levels uh, for their uh, buildings to 25 because uh, at first it like it wouldn't would not be possible for you to just simply uh, upgrade the town hall to 25 and you are going to get tier 5 units right for tier 5 units you need to have almost every single construction building uh, uh, to, to 25 level and if or you need to cover like economy tree until the full which means like uh, it's gonna be a long run uh, like it, i honestly i think uh, at first in, there is much more and better ways of spending gems like recruiting uh, new heroes getting new artifacts uh, like a second uh, research queue second builder queue vip shop 
that's why I'm currently playing this game for one year and I still have my town for for 24 level and yeah I can understand 5% legion capacity can be nice but uh, me like wasting 2000 gems to get these like just numbers in terms of power um, I don't think like power really matters in this game that's why my advice would be that just don't rush uh, your gems to just upgrade those constructions to the maximum right uh, it will be really really useless it will be like i think in later games whenever you have like at least like four to five legions it's the same type uh fighting for you and you are having fun uh, fighting and you generally understand the game then you can make this decision to spend uh, like thousands of gems for just upgrading these constructions to the 25 level uh, this is like main idea about the construction try to get 24 level which we which will help you to increase your power which will help you to get more and better uh, hospital in order to fight even more regarding like research for a free to play player of course uh, for the military tab there is like couple of best options for you to rush uh, whenever you are starting the game your main objective should be to get to tier, tier 4 units that's the most important objective currently in the game uh, for any player especially for free to play player you need to have every single legion type upgraded to the maximum uh, level to tier 4 uh, after that i understand tier 5 is a long run i like longest run i i would not recommend to focus on being uh, tier 5 as fast as possible at first be strong tier 4 if you want gonna be strong tier 4 you are not going to have fun in this game it means that you are missing a lot of fights if it means that you are farming a lot it means that you are constantly using your speed ups and you are not strong right you are not getting any benefits you are just rushing to get tier 5 as fast as possible which i think is useless if you are not having fun in this game tier 5 units won't gonna give you much fun uh, like this my opinion that's why for the military tech uh, try to get tier 4 units every single one with the special unit of course and after that uh, as you can see i chose my main legion type as a marksman and i have upgraded my marksman additional buffs to the highest level possible nine and i'm doing the same for the uh, the protection and of course like mages are secondary in my opinion like in my case uh, second best free to play legions and i'm upgrading the magic protection and arcana knowledge i did not put any single point on infantry and cavalry because i'm not using them and uh, i won't gonna get any benefits having those uh, skills upgraded to the max like the sharp points because I would have uh, spent a lot of speed ups, a lot of resources, which uh, gonna be uh, shown only in terms of uh, numbers for the power, but none on the battlefield because I'm not using those legion types. That's why, again, uh, choosing your main or secondary legion type is important because it's gonna save you a lot of speed ups and a lot of resources in this game. Uh, for the economy tree, honestly, uh, at first there is like a couple of main uh, skills which you need to upgrade, such as scholarship, research speed is important, uh, container upgrade is not that important, honestly, uh, architecture build speed up 35% is a lot, uh, supply chains and scholarship too. Uh, like after you have scholarship 2 and you already have tier 4 units upgraded every single one of them then i would just start upgrading everything on economy tree like you have a two research queue for one queue let it be economy queue and second one let it be military queue simply because in order to get to the tier 5 unit you need to upgrade every single economy skill to the maximum level that's why when if you're gonna start doing it early it will get much much faster later on right uh, that's why that's why we have two research queue in this game one i would recommend to be for the economy and the second one for the military uh, that's why again choosing the main legion time benefits you even more 
um, you won't gonna miss out any buffs for your legion if you if simply because you have only one Q for your military tech uh, and one for your economy trade tech. Uh, that's like the main ideas of why and how you can generally have fun in this game as a free-to-play player. Uh, honestly, I can understand the frustrations and some dramas whenever you are speaking about tier 5 uh, players, players who prefer to spend money in this game. I have no issues, everybody has their opinion, everybody has their own gameplay. Uh, currently, I chose to be organic, I chose to play as a free-to-play player, as you can see, no Lilia, no Hosk, uh, no Theodore, uh, no Tohar, uh, Bertrand is new and I hope I'm gonna get it in, like, in the future, but these are like pay-to-win pay heroes, right? I have never bought any single bundle uh, or any, any single like... Um, feature which gonna help me to grow with my own money i'm just trying to show that even not spending anything in this game you are 100 percent going to have fun uh like currently i have played this game for one year my merit score looks pretty fine my fun matrix is always high whenever i'm uh, playing this game that's why it was my decision to make this video to give the encouragement to the free-to-play players to not uh, not be sad, not be mad. Uh, try to play the grind game because at the end of the day, sooner or later, we are going to catch uh, those tier five players. We everybody will have tier five units at some point in this game. Uh, if you are just playing the game in a like currently and trying to be. As positive as possible. Uh, in general, Call of Dragons gives a lot of benefits for a free to play players, such as I already mentioned Hospital, I already mentioned uh, like Gem Gathering, I already mentioned that uh, like if you're gonna choose the main Legion type, it will be much much easier for you to be uh, like stronger in this game. And also, like one of the best. Uh, combat gameplay in the game like i'm not sure if any other kingdom builder game has uh, such a good graphics such a good uh, combat gameplay uh, like many uh, people have said that like Call of dragons has a pretty bad mistakes uh, whenever there is something new coming up uh, it's not a surprise game is new it's been only one year since the introduction of Call of dragons and if you ask me honestly everything is going great of course, developers of this game will make some mistake. Sometimes they won't gonna make some mistake, but pointing fingers at people, uh, it's not gonna do much to us as a player and to the developers itself, right? Let's be positive. Let's try to enjoy this amazing game. Uh, and let's try to give more encouragement to the developers of this game to make more and better content uh, for this game. Uh, and yep, I did not even mention the warped system, right? Like it's pretty simple. You are choosing the, your main uh, legion type and you are trying to get the uh, warpets which will work for that legion type. If you are marksman player, you are trying to get snowpeak rock and you are trying to get night rock. If you are mage player, you are trying to get soul shadow frage rake and sapphire frage rake. Uh, that's the best uh, warpets for a free-to-play friendly legion types in this game. Uh, that's all I wanted to share because I have seen some negativity uh, about the game in the past couple of months uh, for free-to-play players, for pay-to-win players. But I think uh, just stay positive. If you are enjoying the game, keep playing. If you are not enjoying the game, in general, I think games are meant to have fun for you and... Uh, it just gives you more like it just helps you to forget the life troubles if you have any that's why just stay positive and continue the grind because uh, in, at the end of the day it gives me a lot of satisfaction whenever i'm dealing some uh, more and more damage to tier 5 players it means i'm getting closer and closer um, this is like my tips uh, for uh, free-to-play players, so who the tips I got asked many different times um, throughout the content I'm making, like every single time, every single comment is about uh, free-to-play tips, so 
uh, I hope I covered the most important of course in this video I, I would not put every single detail uh, I spoke about the most important topics uh, and I hope uh, it will be helpful for you thanks for watching I hope you are enjoying the content I'm making uh, and uh, I hope you are having the amazing day night morning and evening wherever you are if you like the videos press like subscribe share it always gives me more and more motivation to make more beautiful content for this game thanks for watching bye bye and see you very very soon